I think I can show pretty definitively that the majority of the activity hitting this firewall, firewall from non-U.S. countries is botnet activity. This is a new uh, set of data pulled from the logs. It's 10 contiguous days. There was some concern about the gaps, uh, so I re reloaded. Um, we're starting with 2009-09-20 and going up to the 30th. And I've filtered this a bit. Um, it's not looking at inbound packets that come from the U.S., only inbound packets from other countries. It's not looking at HTTP. And I filtered out all countries that had a total packet count inbound over the whole 10 days of less than 200. One interesting thing that did is it removed those very clear stripes that I was all excited about. I think at this point that those stripes were uh, misconfiguration or something, a secondary effect of the botnet activity. Um, not enough packets to really matter. What I think really is interesting about this is we can see the botnet um, activating and deactivating. Certain countries are more affected or participant in it than others. China, India, South Korea in particular. Um, here's one. Uh, Turkey, Vietnam to some extent. So we see these all more active during a period than less active. Can't be a coincidence. We see Romania active pretty much all the time, although it does have some decrease during this period of supposed botnet inactivity. Here's an interesting thing. This country, Canada, um, happens to be more active when the supposed botnet is less active. Well, let's drill into this and see um, what was going on this particular hour from this particular Canadian IP address. This is now a graph of the internal IPs it was hitting by port. So we've got no IP, some sort of ICMP stuff, uh, and that's borne out because it has no port either. Um, we have an internal box, and this particular internal box, it looks like we're doing some port scanage to me. There's port 53. Let me close this one. Here's a spike. Let's look at this spike from Romania. Okay, interesting. This is not a port scan. We have no host, some SIP box, two other boxes, and the ports that are trying to be reached on those boxes, 137, 53, NA. I believe this is botnet activity. Let's pick another random Romania node here. Same deal. Mainly 137 and no port. Let's pick a random one from China. Interesting. It's a little different. There's port 137. There's no port. We have sort of a range of ports that have been scanned or something here. Um, Mostly, most of the traffic is 137 aimed at some SIP box. Let's come back here and look at this one 
in South Korea. Pretty much the same deal. And I, I noticed a big spike over here. There we go. Spikeage from Sweden. Let's see what that is. Note that Sweden is not high on the supposed botnet synchronization. Aha! This really looks like a port scan to me. We got one packet each on all these different ports. So that's a, a port scan from Sweden, I believe. So I hope this sheds more light on things. And I really appreciate you, uh, all the people that contributed to the conversation about this. I learned a lot. Thanks.